when you're beaten, apart from the wounds you get, there's that trauma that remains permanently in you that you think is going to happen again. God's law is that homosexuality is sin. And God's law is always clear that the wages of sin is death. In Uganda, when someone discovers that they are gay, the first thing is to hide it. Because you already know it's wrong, everyone is talking about it as being wrong. You've seen people being punished, beaten, being thrown out of everywhere because they are suspected of being gay. So if you suspect you are gay, the first thing you do is hide it. I've actually even got death threats. When I tell you that I move from one apartment to another whenever I feel there's a threat, that's because I know someone can attack me in the house. As an activist, the real life situation is you know someone out there might kill you. Gay rights activist, 46 year old David Katochisule, was attacked at his home by unknown assailants. David Kato for me was a personal friend. He inspired me a lot in my work. He was hit with a hammer on the head and died on the way to hospital. His death has attracted a lot of international scrutiny, with some media houses linking his death to his support for sexual minorities' rights and his campaign against the anti homosexuality bill. When I saw him, I, I, I just began crying. And I was crying not because I thought it could happen to me too, but I was crying because I knew this guy. I knew he was my friend, he was someone I could relate to. And knowing who David was, I, I could not bring myself to imagine that someone would kill him in such a brutal way. As the days went by, then it dawns on you that actually the reason why David was killed can actually be the reason I might be killed. David lived his life as an activist. He offered his life for the people. He died for something he believed in, and I'm sure one day his fight won't be in vain. <laughs>